my name is Neil Singleton. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I graduated from University of Louisville in December of 2011. And I received a bachelor's degree in humanities with a focus in interdisciplinary studies. So, but my interdisciplinary studies were art history and French. And I received a Fulbright grant to go to South Korea for a year and teach English to some high school students. Coming into college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I started my first few years, I took Latin and then I switched to French. So there's always been this interest in language, but I still didn't really know where that was going to head. And one of my French professors actually asked me if I had ever thought about teaching English in another country. And I hadn't really considered that. So I thought, yeah, that, that would actually be pretty cool. And then senior year came around, and I was still kind of, you know, oh God, what am I doing? And uh, someone mentioned the Fulbright Award, and then I started getting emails from the Honors Center and all that. And I see this Fulbright thing, I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot. So uh, I just met with Dr. Condon and talked it out, and it all went from there. This will be a chance for me to further my education outside of what I've learned at U of L. And the whole, I think the biggest problem in this whole process was getting out of my own way, because the whole time I just figured, you know, I can't do this. Because out of all the Fulbright applicants, Dr. Ghana told me I was the only one that didn't even have a passport. And, you know, I'd never been out of the country, I'd never been away from home for that long. And I was just thinking, how am I going to do this? But Dr. Condon and, and Seabrook and several professors, they were all just really spoke highly of me and kind of gave me the confidence I needed to really pursue this. Um, my, my actual first round of essays that I wrote for the application were pretty much a joke. Uh, I was just kind of really, you know, it basically screamed, this guy has no idea what he's doing or why he's doing it. And they kind of said, you know, Neil, you can do this, uh, you know, just figure your stuff out. And they really helped me through that. In the process, there were four one-on-one -on -one interviews with professors. That was very strenuous because I just, this whole time, it's like, you know, you had to dress up really nice and, you know, come professional looking and all this. And I'm just like, oh God, what did I get myself into? And then actually about a month later, I think, was the big group interview with, I believe it was about eight or nine professors, including Dr. Condon. And, you know, I walk in the door and the first thing I said was, do you all try to make this as strenuous as possible? Because it's working. And, you know, they kind of laughed, but from then on, it just, it went really well. And um, they really did a great job of just supporting me, not only with revisions and stuff, but just giving me the confidence I needed to get through the whole thing.